Remy UI will break your fingerprint function if you try to root your phone. But that's not all. If you're not careful, you have a problem like this and you want to fix it, you can end up breaking your device. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to safely recover from this problem. Welcome back to Smart Depot. Smash that subscribe button right now if you like this video and turn on the notification bell icon uh, to get more videos from us. I've done several videos for Realme X2, how to downgrade flash custom room, unlock bootloader, relock bootloader and all that. But when this issue came to my attention of breaking uh, uh, phones and <laughs> fingerprint, I decided to replicate the same problem. So after I flashed the Realme UI, I went back straight and uh, flashed uh, custom recovery, uh, TWRP and then I flashed uh, Magisk, uh, which is a uh, root, you know, so that's the way you root. So, and then after doing that, I realized that once you finish rooting your phone and you reboot the phone and then open it and try to use your fingerprint in the setting, you realize I had a fingerprint, you know, function before I rooted. As you can see, there's the magic is well installed and it's functional. So I had the fingerprint set up before I rooted. So I just want to go in there and just check. Um, as you can see, there is a fingerprint, but I can't really, really assess it. It's not coming out on the screen. And um, if you try to assess fingerprints, it will, you know, be showing you in a pop up like this. So one thing you're not going to do at this stage, if you for some reason rooted your phone and your fingerprint is broken, you don't want to go and relock bootloader. Even if you flash custom recovery and relock bootloader, you might break your device. So you have to deal with this first. So these are some of the things I did uh, trying to deal with it. I decided to unroot because there is Magisk uninstaller zip also. You can flash that if you want to unroot. So flashing that means I'm going to return back to custom uh, to from custom recovery to stock recovery. <clears throat> that still didn't work. So um, since I've returned back to stock recovery, I decided to now reboot the phone and go back to the recovery and then wipe everything so this is the stock recovery so i've gone back to this stock recovery of course what could go wrong with stock i decided to wipe data formatted data just formatted everything in the phone wiped it clean uh, normally this should be able to fix some things but in this case it still didn't fix this fingerprint issue so um as we've shown you some of the things that we tried that didn't work right now let me show you how to safely recover from this broken fingerprint i'm going to be using also the twrp uh, recovery method here just put into fast boot mode and flash trwp and uh, vb meta i have a video on that how to unlock and flash you know custom recovery if you don't know so after flashing that um, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to reboot into the recovery um, to now do something. The first thing I did here is to wipe. I'm going to go to wipe, go to advanced wipe, and then wipe only the data. This is very, very important. So I wiped only the data. And after wiping the data, I will bring in the stock ROM. Uh, it's usually OZIP extension, but I probably renamed the extension to ZIP to make it faster to flash in TWRP. You can see the video of downgrading or upgrading. I explained that there. You can see the video in the link, the description. Okay, so after flashing this talk, um, that's not or you're going to reboot back into the recovery. So that's very, very critical. So the next step, you reboot the recovery. And once you reboot the recovery, you have to go back to wipe. And then this time around, you're going to format data. Mind you, this will wipe everything in your phone, everything in your internal storage. So you type yes, and you then wipe the data. So that means you've installed recovery, wipe data, then reboot recovery, flash the stock ROM, and then format data, and we are just good to go. So this is it now. I've finished with this formatting of data. And mind you, it will take you back to 
stock recovery when you reboot the phone so this is now add fingerprint the adding fingerprint is just working fine so that will be it i'll put the steps in the description so you just want to see the steps by yourself you can see the step and link in the, in the description and also download link and other videos that also will explain more to you about this as you can see the fingerprint is still working with unlock bootloader so rooting Realme UI is the problem for now Realme UI cannot work with root um, for now it happened like that in ColorOS before but they were able to fix it so that's it the way to recover just make sure you subscribe to the channel like the video comment and turn on the notification bell icon and I'll see you in the next one stay safe wherever you are peace out subscribe I'll see you.